So, basically I was tired of dying with my horrible build I made previously. So I decided to be a tank. But I also didn't want to do low damage. And I was tired of my allies dying as well. So I put it all together, and I think I've made the ultimate tank, DPS, and support build. And I don't think it can be nerfed. Well, it obviously can, but if he nerfs it, it won't be that logical. So, before you question how weird it looks having a shield and a blaster gun, just hear me out. I'm using Red Sky Saints robes and pants for the speed, damage, and the, mainly the vital miss stat. I'm using a, and these have wall of on it, so I give myself and all allies around me auto block. And then I'm using Corrupted Snails Man's Noggin, which gives me 60% more physical, defense, and damage. I get 36 protection, and the Caustic Slot is nice, but I don't really have a way to trigger that. I'm using the Blaster Ring, which gives me a speed boost and a, a little bit of an attack speed boost too. And then the Locked and Loaded, which gives me a gun. Which, normally, without this on, the Shield's Heavy Attack is this little quick bash that taunts everyone around me, which is nice, it's, not, it's definitely not the worst, it's fast, it's a really good taunt. But with the Blaster Ring, I get a little ranged attack that's easy to do. And it still taunts, so it gives me a, a ranged taunt that goes through enemies. And when I combine it with Vain Lord Essence, it gives me this three hit combo. The gun shoot, that blood blast, and then the shield bash. And that is, it does so much damage, it's so good. And then I'm running the Sanguine Bolt. Which, the rune you can really use whatever you want. I just really like Sanguine Bolt. It gives me a bit of a damage boost. And then it does so much damage with this build. Like, it does an absurd amount of damage. I'll show the DPS next. And so the enchants, you want two Vampiric. Because you need to have Lifesteal to benefit from the Red Sky's Vital Mist. Two Wall of, just so I give myself auto block to everyone around me. And you can go for one if you want to be a little more greedy, because you still give yourself auto block and those around you, but having two basically doubles the range of allies that get it, so it's a lot better as being a support tank. And then corrupt, you have to have corrupt on the snailman's noggin, or it'll be an absolutely horrible piece. If you don't know what corruption does, it basically removes all of the positive effects, and then it inverses and doubles the negative effects. That basically means that negative 10% physical defense will get inversed, so it turns into positive 10% physical defense. And then it gets doubled, so then it turns into positive 20% physical defense. That's why it gives me such high stats. Though it is important to note that with this build you have a negative 122.5% holy defense. There are hardly any sources of holy defense, like holy damage you're going to deal with. And you have a ton of um, defenses, so it's not that big of a deal. But you do have to be really careful against the like explosive bees in the bee dungeon, because they can do a ton of damage to you if you don't block them. And yeah, so the glove I'm using is the Croker Knot Shield. The essence I'm using is the Lord Vein Scythe Essence, which is new. And I'm using Retaliate as my skill. The skill doesn't matter that much, I just personally like Retaliate. True damage is really good, it gives me a really nice panic button if I'm surrounded. And what this essence does is it makes it so when you attack enemies, there's a chance for Red Lightning to link to nearby enemies that deals extra damage and it life steals, which is nice. And with the last hit of the shield combo, you deal this big AoE bash, which makes it even easier to have the lightning chain if it hits multiple enemies. It also makes it so that if I hold down my heavy attack, I make this little blast of blood, and then I can do a shield bash. And if I hold it down for a long time, it charges up. And the longer I charge it, the better it gets. And then it deals this huge wave of, like, 
red lightning that deals a ton of damage. It goes through enemies and it has a ton of range. Like, look at this. It goes so far. It's really nice. And one of the main reasons why I'm using blastering is it, like, it always activates when I'm doing these attacks. Like, you basically always want to just be doing be doing this right click attack because it does the most damage. Here's the rune damage. Pretty good. And then retaliate damage. Pretty good as well. Like, and you have to keep in mind that I have no offensive enchants, and I also don't have any double enchants. So this is like a pure tank and support build, yet it's still doing this much damage. And the last, but one of the most important parts, is you can see on the bottom left here, there's this little red thing filling up called Vital Mist, similar to my spiritual energy. This is from the Wall of Red Sky Saint robes, which I also have three pieces infused. And it makes it so my life steal gets converted into this mist AoE around me, which passively heals allies and I over time as it drains this vital mist bar. And when you get above uh, 50, it gives you Tailwind, which is a big speed boost, and then it starts draining faster. The more of this perk you have stacked, the bigger the range of the AoE heal is, the more it heals, and the more you can have stacked up. Normally you can only have 95, and as you can see, I'm going above 300. Actually, it looks like 300 is my max with my amount of stacks. And then it's important to note that when you block, that bar drains twice as fast, but auto block does not make it drain twice as fast, which is really nice. So you can just block for like a second and get that auto block, and then you're still blocking here while you're attacking and healing. And as you can see, it's healing everyone around me for 3.8 a second. It's so nice. And that's the build. If you guys think you have any ideas on how to improve it, please let me know in the comments. And have a good day.